The world of 22 revolvers is vast. It's easy to see why. A good 22 revolver can serve multiple roles. You can play cowboy with one or use it for hunting small game or even for self-defense. These affordable rimfire firearms are easy to shoot, cheap to shoot, and overall tend to be a lot of bang for your buck. To aid you in selection, we have compiled a list of the top 10 22 revolvers in the gun market. Along with their primary attributes and factors to consider, ensuring you pick the most suitable one for your needs. For an in-depth examination and a comparison tool, please visit our website at gunsyoucantlivewithout.com. Number 10. Ruger Bearcat Here's one from Ruger that has an elegant look to it. Nice for the wall display, but fun to shoot as well. This single-action rimfire comes in either stainless or blued and featured an unfluted cylinder that has a roll mark with images of a bear and cougar, stylish wooden grips, a transfer bar for added safety, and a cold hammer forged 4.2-inch barrel. Number 9. Heritage Rough Rider from 4.5-inch barrel bar tender models to 16-inch barrel joker meme guns, the Heritage Rough Rider series of revolvers has everything. Pearl grips, American flag grips, 22 WMR models, and much more. Heritage aims to have something unique for everyone. But what sets them apart is how cheap these little pea shooters are. Commonly on sale for around $100, a Heritage Rough Rider is within almost everyone's budget and might be the most entertainment per dollar purchase you ever make. Even with being so cheap, they are reliable and pretty durable little revolvers that look and feel great. They aren't as clean or refined as the Ruger Wrangler, nor will they stand up to as many rounds normally, but both are to be expected. I know plenty of owners who have at least 2,000 rounds through their Rough Riders. That's pretty impressive for what is essentially the least expensive option. If you just want something to have fun with, the Rough Rider is an awesome option. Number 8. Sentinel 22 Revolver Is reminiscent of the J-Frame Smith & Wesson, particularly in terms of grip and weight distribution. The firearm has a heavy double-action pull, but it is consistently smooth. Its single-action feature offers a crisply target-grade let-off. While most models come with fixed sights, some adjustments can be made, although this requires precision. If not aligned correctly for elevation, the gun tends to shoot high. The Sentinel features a distinctive swing-out cylinder, a mechanism that was later adopted by several other manufacturers. However, these guns lack a spring-loaded extractor rod, leading to potential damage if the user neglects to manually reset the rod. This design flaw created a reputation of the Sentinel as a low-cost and potentially low-quality firearm. Later models introduced a spring return ejector, but this feature is less common in found models. Despite these aspects, the Sentinel is lauded for its surprising accuracy, although it does require finding the right ammunition for optimal performance. Its built-in grip adapter is a unique feature that often goes unused but is well designed for a natural fit. Number 7. Smith & Wesson Model 17 Weighing in at 40 ounces with a 6-inch barrel, Smith & Wesson's Model 17 is built on the company's renowned K-Frame platform. Regarding features, functionality, quality of construction, or design aesthetics, the Model 17 sticks to Smith & Wesson's premium revolver standards. The hammer and trigger of the Model 17 are made of case-hardened steel. The large and well-checkered hammer makes it easy to pull back with a single thumb. It also features Smith & Wesson's internal safety lock, which allows you to disable the entire gun with a key. This is a nice extra feature if you have kids in the house and just want that extra peace of mind. Performance-wise, the Model 17 will make even mediocre shooters look close to competition ready. With a bit of practice, you can expect to hit your mark at a little over 25 yards consistently. However, deciding whether the added performance justifies the expensive price tag is up to you. Number 6. Colt King Cobra Pro the new King Cobra features a 4-inch barrel complete with a ventilated rib that makes Colt snake guns so eye-catching. It's a medium-sized revolver shooting micro-sized rounds. All that extra space is put to good use and the gun holds 10 rounds in its cylinder. It's just barely legal in band states. 
Not really, but the King Cobra is all manner of cool and is probably the only true premium grade 22 lr revolver on the market. A premium gun commands a premium price and Colt is proud of this gun. At a thousand bucks, it's only for hardcore collectors. The gun wears a set of nice adjustable rear sights and a highly visible front sight. The finish is a beautiful chrome and it's made from stainless steel. You don't get many fancy 22 lr revolvers and this has to be the nicest out there. The trigger is a dream in both double and single action. It's light but smooth and breaks consistently over and over. A gun this size is aimed more at the plinking world, but with its killer accuracy, you could find a home in the competition world as well. Number 5. Dan Wesson 22 the 722 VH10 is a revolver from Dan Wesson, designed with an interchangeable barrel system that allows users to convert it to a 4, 6, or even 2.5 inch barreled snubby revolver. The set includes a bushing wrench for barrel removal and a shim for setting the cylinder gap. The installation process involves screwing the barrel into the frame with the shim between the cylinder and the forcing cone, ensuring the right cylinder gap. The revolver employs the Dan Wesson characteristic of a cylinder release mounted on the crane, a mechanism that helps maintain alignment between the center of each chamber and the bore line. This is superior to systems that only lock at the center pin and tip of the ejector rod, as these are weaker and more prone to bending over time, slowing rotation. The finish on the Dan Wesson 722 VH10 is brushed stainless steel, adding an aesthetic appeal. It also features a large Hogue monogrip, a well-crafted trigger, and an excellent sight picture, making it a good choice for standing and firing. Though the revolver shows potential for consistent accuracy, the unavailability of chronograph data marked as NA indicates some undisclosed issues. Number 4. Ruger New Model Single 6 The New Model Single 6 from Ruger is another example of a handgun design that has stood up to the test of time. Constructed out of stainless steel, the New Model Single 6 convertible revolver is dependable and exciting to use. Due to the slower pace and reduced capacity of shooting a revolver, the shooter must concentrate on getting the pin and makes this revolver a lot safer to handle than older of each round. There's no disputing the allure of a vintage style revolver as well. The single 6 shines when it comes to pest control, with an option to swap out between 22 LR or 22 Magnum cylinder, the single 6 becomes one reliable and versatile sidearm. The transfer bar underneath the hammer is a nice safety feature to avoid accidental firing. It also allows you to load the full 6 rounds into your cylinder, unlike traditional revolvers. Number 3. High Standard Double Nine. The High Standard Double Nine, a double action nine shot Western style revolver, was introduced in 1958 with an aluminum frame, various barrel lengths, and multiple finish and grip options. Several variants, each with unique features, were produced by High Standard, and some were also sold by Sears, Western Auto, and Croydon Arms. In 1971, a steel-framed version capable of handling 22 Magnum rounds was launched known as the Convertible Series. This series, along with later variants, were the first to offer optional adjustable sights. Despite its aesthetic similarity to the Single Action Army, the Double Nine had a swing-out cylinder, making the ejector rod and housing ornamental. The production of the revolver was discontinued in 1984. Number 2. Ruger SP-101-22 Ruger's new SP-101 is the company's second effort at a small-framed rimfire revolver after it withdrew the previous SP-101 owing to its heavy weight and poor sights. Ruger has done an excellent job with the SP-101's current incarnation, even though the initial rifle edition was unsuccessful. It's a nice take on modernizing traditional revolvers. The stainless steel SP-101-22 revolver has a compact frame and features a 4.2-inch barrel weighing just 30 ounces. An adjustable black blade at the back of the sights contrasts sharply with the green fiber optic blade at the front, making aiming a lot easier. The SP-101 is a double-action single with a trigger break of 11 pounds and less than 2 pounds, respectively. The entire grip is surrounded by model rubber grips with complementing wood side inserts giving it an entirely new, more ergonomic hand grip. 
Coupled with better sights and a more balanced frame, the new SP-101 is an accurate plinker, but will also work as a small game hunting revolver. Number 1. Smith & Wesson Model 63 The Smith & Wesson Model 63 is a scaled-down version of their classic J-Frame revolver. The J-Frame revolver has been around for over six decades and has been extremely popular. The revolver is still relatively light, weighing in at 24.8 ounces. It has an 8-round capacity and has a 3-inch barrel. It could be used for concealed carry, general defense, and of course, for recreational shooting. That concludes our rundown of the top 22 revolvers in the gun market. If you found this video useful, we'd be grateful for a thumbs up. Your support always means a lot. We're eager to hear your thoughts. Share with us in the comments which 22 revolver in the gun market you're considering selecting. We appreciate your time in watching this video. If it was beneficial or enlightening in any way, don't hesitate to hit the like button. To stay updated with our future videos, consider subscribing to the channel.